Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to King's Quest 3 to Air is Human. The game is paused and press enter to continue. Alright, let's, uh. Okay, yes. This is where I want. Uh, look. Acorns. The acorns surround the old oak tree and crunch under your step. Alright. Get. Acorns? You pick and poke among the fallen acorns looking for dried ones. You don't find any, these are all newly fallen. I believe you can just keep doing this. Alright, if we uh, go back off the screen, come back in. Maybe you have to go someplace else in the uh, zone. Nope. Doesn't seem to be. I know it is just a case of... looking until you get one. At least I'm pretty sure that's the case. You pick and poke among the fallen acorns, looking for dried ones. You eventually find three dried acorns and take them with you. Excellent. Alright, now... Let's go here, and then here. Actually... Let's get that way. You notice that the, uh, birds, um, and squirrels... Oh, crap! Keep going, come on, keep going, keep going. I didn't know they could appear on that screen. There we go. Those uh, birds will eventually play a role, um, but we want to... Okay, we're back here. That's good. Let's go this way. Trying to get everything back on screen. I haven't been back to the uh, Three Bears house yet, um, because I want to... Uh, get a specific scene. There we go. Now, I believe... Well, let's, uh, first of all, go ahead and save the game. Oops. Let's go ahead and uh, do temp 2. There we go. Hey, we just automatically swim. Sweet. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just swim away from uh, um, Man and Ann. Hi, fishies. I'm sure I can catch one of you guys and uh, eat you at some point or something, right? I'll be fine. I'll just swim to uh, whatever the next continent is. It'll be fine. I guarantee it. I guarantee. Actually, I uh, kind of uh, expected a shark to come by now. I don't know if there are any sharks out here, but I would have figured there would have been a shark. You know what? It's a sea object. Magic map. You can't do that now. Oh, okay. Fine. Be that way. You've reached the limits of your strength. You panic and start to struggle hopelessly. Oh. Well, I guess that's not something that we can do. Well, shucks. Oh, fine, be that way. We won't do that. Uh, fill... Fill cup. Can we do that? How can you do that? How about if we, uh, get out into the water? Fill cup with... Water. Hmm. Get... Water? You fill your cup with ocean water. Oh, Thanks, game. Thanks for not making that obvious. There's a path up there that I could take, but I don't want to. And it should be, yep, that's there. Alright, but I believe we want to be around here somewhere. 
for one last thing. Then uh, we'll head back up to... Can I do it here? Get mud. With, your, with the wooden spoon, you kneel and scoop a spoonful of wet mud from the stream's bank. You carry it with you. That seems inadvisable, but uh, okay. Uh, let's see. So we've got ocean water. The metal cup has ocean water in it. Yeah, I can kind of see how uh, Man and Anne might get a little annoyed at that. Um, we've got acorns. The three acorns are dried and brittle. Those... Oh, I guess the, the green part is the top. Okay, that seemed odd. Uh, and mud. The spoonful of mud has already dried. So, unfortunately, we cannot teleport to the top of the mountain. We are going to have to do normal speed, save the game, and try to walk back up. Because it's a Sierra game, of course. I hate you, game. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> Don't even let me see exactly where the, uh, hole is. How about here? Huh? Huh? There we go. Alright, now we're back up here. I think it's about time to uh, save the game again. So we've got a little bit of time left. I uh, can't see exactly... Okay, there we are. Maybe another five minutes or so, but I'm not sure if I want to risk it. It's not always a good idea to take those risks. I suppose I could save it. We could try something. Fortunately, I did not get something that I wouldn't would have liked to have gotten, but uh, that's okay. There we go. Back up at the top. Let's go ahead and save the game. And let's put the uh, speed back to fast. Open door. There we go. Alright, I think we have enough to do uh, a couple spells. Let me see. Um... I technically do, but I needed to get back into that, uh, uh, the... I suppose I could have tried that, and I did not get that thing. Uh, let's see. I could do that one. Alright. Open... Cabinet? Let's go ahead and uh, move books again. Push. Ah, got an extra P in there. Push lever. Let's hope we have enough time here. Not sure if I do or not, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's not risk it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, restore back to that save there. That 
Yeah, there we go. Put it back on fast speed. Open door. So there's a couple things that we're going to want to get uh, um, back down before we uh, can really make our escape. Let's uh, put stuff under bed. You get on your hands and knees and quickly shove all your possessions under the bed. They will be safe from the wizard's sharp eyes there. So did I put everything? I did, okay. Get fruit. Drop into your knees. You reach under the bed and retrieve it. Good. Okay. All right. So I, I, I can get uh, individual things if I need them. Kit Kat. Screech! <laughs> ah, it's good times. All right, so at this point, uh, it's uh, essentially just a waiting game. Uh, we're going to wait for uh, Man and Ann to return, give us a chore. I think we did get everything that we needed here in the house, except for anything that's down in the uh, um, in the laboratory. So let's, uh, let's take a look here. Did I... Yep, everything is back the way it should be. Alright, at this point, I think I'm just going to pause the video and wait for Man and Ann to uh, reappear, because that's uh, all we really have left to do. So I'll be back momentarily. Okay, he just appeared. I have returned, Quidian. I am ready to eat. Damn it, I knew he'd want that. Let's get back on the uh, screen. You want to eat, huh? Alright, well, that would have been a fantastic time. Mananan is impatiently waiting for his food. His stomach rumbles as he drums his gnarled fingers on the table. You better feed him quickly or dire consequences may result. Give fruit. I hope that's an okay one. How do you do that? Um, put fruit on table? You might need it. Feed... Mananan. Feed wizard. You place the food on the dining table before the hungry wizard. Ravenously, he devours every bit of it. Rom nom rom 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 Mmm, grapes, mmm, mmm. You know, grapes remind me of the time that I ate my last slave's eyeballs. You know that, Quidian? Oh, they were tasty. They were tasty. Are you looking forward to that, Quidian? It's obvious the wizard enjoyed his meal as he lets out a satisfied belch. <laughs> he rises and leaves without so much as a thank you. What a jerk. Alright, so, uh... At this point, we, uh, once again, just kind of, uh, wait around, doing not much. <laughs> it's a kid, the cat. Oh. Oh, look. Whoops. Didn't mean to go into the inventory there. Alright, so, uh, once again, we are waiting. There's nothing that we can really do, um, uh, at this point. So, uh, you know what? I think I might pause it again. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll be right, right back. And here he is. Here he has returned again. I am going to bed, Quidian. Do not disturb me. Let's get back on the window. Um, yes, yes, master. Okay. So, now we can uh, go ahead and do stuff. So, he uh, is away for, like, 25 minutes, and then... When he comes back, or, uh, he'll, uh, yep, so there he is. Can't stab him in his sleep, unfortunately. Actually, let's try that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, um, 
then he'll come back and issue you a uh, chore. Um, and then... Um, I think once you complete that chore, it's three minutes before he leaves again. And it's leaving or sleeping, essentially. Well, let's uh, go ahead and save it. Temp 3, just to be on the safe side. Stab. Wizard. Your own death would result from that. He's too powerful for you, but he's asleep. Alright, guess we can't stab him. Alright, but I do believe that we have some, uh... We have enough ingredients to make some, uh... Spells. So let's go ahead and take a look. Get out of my... Get, stupid cat, get out of my way. Kick. Cat. There we go. Unlock cabinet. I don't know if that cat has a name or not. Um, incidentally, the uh, the cat can uh, kill you on these steps here. Move books. Push lever. There we go. So yeah, if the cat is out here, um, there is a chance that you could uh, trip on the cat and uh, die. Let's uh, try to avoid that, shall we? Alright, let me uh, take a quick look to see what exactly the other ingredients are here. I believe we can just pick them up now. Um, so I'd kind of like to do that. Uh, let's see. Alright. Get saffron. Can't reach it from here. You remove the jar labeled saffron from the laboratory shelf and carry it with you. Alright. Get mandrake root. Don't need what? Pretty sure I do, game. Mandrake root powder. There we go. Uh, let's see. Get night shade juice. Get fish bone powder. Nope. Oh, gotta redo that. Alright. Bone powder. And get toad spittle. Get toadstool powder. All right, what else do we have? That's about it. All right, well, let's uh, take a quick look at what we have. Uh, let's see. Saffron. Uh, the jar just says saffron. Inside the jar, you see the saffron, a yellow, an orange-yellow powdery substance. Uh, nightshade juice. The nightshade juice sloshes around inside the glass jar. Mandrake root. The glass jar of mandrake root powder has an earthy, bitter smell to it. Toad spittle. The toad spittle is unpleasant stuff, to say the least. Uh, let's see. Toadstool powder. The cream-colored toadstool powder is finely textured and nearly odorless. Um, powdered fish bone. With the glass jar, you see your white fish bone powder. It emits faint fishy a faint fishy smell. All right. All right. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and save it again. Let me see exactly what page I need. Look, page 
6. With trembling hands, you turn the pages of the Sorcery of Old and prepare to follow its instructions precisely. You know you must work with the utmost care. Every step is critical. Each step must be done in the proper way, in the proper sequence. You tremble in anticipation. Alright. So, um... Put... Pinch... Of... Saffron... In... Essence. You carefully sprinkle the precious saffron into the vial of rose petal essence. Alright, now we have to recite the verse... O winged spirits, set me free. Screw this, I'm sure it will work fine. A strange feeling comes over you. You wonder if you could have made a mistake. Oh, oh no, we have turned into the human fly. Oh, Gwydion, what big eyes you have! Thanks for playing King's Quest Three. Next time, be more careful. I'm definitely gonna botch every single spell just so that we can see what happens. All right, uh, turn to page six. All right, put eight. Pinch of saffron in essence. Damn it. All right, let's see. Oh, winged spirits. Set me free. You have to get this uh, exactly right. Uh, capitalization, commas, everything. Of earthly binding. Oh, binding. Oops. Bindings. Just like the. In this. Essence, behold, behold the might to gr to grant the precious gift of flight. I need a period. I do need a period. Boom. Uh. Wave magic wand. You wave the magic wand over the vial of rose petal essence. Successfully completing the spell, you again look at the wizard's laboratory. Okay, so we've created our very first spell. Uh, let's see, where is it? Magic rose essence. The little vial of magic essence is a, has a delicate, sweet aroma. Alright, I'm not sure if we... Um, Really need to make any other spells just yet. Let's see. I don't need that yet. I don't need that yet. Um, that could be good. A uh, small feather from a bird. Tuft of fur from any animal. Dried reptile skin. Okay, I don't have that yet. And I don't have a thimble, thimble full of dew. I need to get that later. Um, yeah, so really that's the only spell that um, I really need to make right now. Or that would be useful right now, I should say. Uh, so in that case, uh, let's go ahead and see. Object. Magic map. And let's teleport down here. Oh, that's right, F6. And so it shall be. All right, let's go ahead and save the game again. And just save over that one. Oh, you know what? Uh, we're a bit over time, so... Uh 
yeah, I'll, I'll actually uh, go back out to the other screen. Well, no, I'll pick it up from here. Anyway, we'll call this an episode in the next one. Uh, let's see if we can uh, do a little uh, home invasion. See you then, everyone.